Hi, it is May 12, 2015. This is day 25, if you can believe it. Um, so, a little bit of things have been happening today. Um, got up this morning, talked to my crazy customer right off the bat. So, that was two hours of, God, thank you, it is out of the way. Um, did that. Um, talked to some modeling people, got that all scheduled. So, that's going really good. And then I finally uh, dove into my homework, which needed to be done. It was like, it was very confusing. Like we had to do these interviews with our teachers and the, a teacher and an administrator, sorry. And then we had to write um, an essay based on their responses, only 500 words. I have no idea how the heck you're supposed to condense an interview to 500 words. I think mine was like 650. I didn't care. I just did the assignment. I'd rather have too many words than not enough. Um, finally got that all done. So yay, I have, let's say tomorrow is Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with absolutely no homework to do. That's three days I cleared up out of my schedule. Because I usually wait till my first assignment was just due on Saturday. And that's just a discussion question, so I can just go in there and just kind of bullshit 100 words and get it done, and I'm good for the day. So as long as I have that in by midnight my time, I'm pretty good. So we did that, and then um, let's see what else happened today. Um, had a little emotional break, and that was because um, somebody who's a part of my life liked a status on Facebook, and it set me off. And it kind of made me feel like um, that person was um, kind of rubbing in my face that I'm no longer a part of their life in that sense. Not as part of life, period, but part of life in that sense. And I really had a hard time processing that um, because I have been doing all I can not to emotionally vomit all over Facebook. Um, I don't think that's fair to either party, and I hope that that kind of thing that, you know, is going on doesn't continue because at some point I'm going to have to say, look, I don't know if you realize you're doing it, but by you doing these things, you're hurting me, and I can't have that kind of hurt in my life, and I'd rather you just try to stay away from that stuff so that I don't have this kind of reaction, just as a courtesy to me. You can have all the opinions you want, just don't do it. So, um, had that happen. Um, talked to some of my friends about it, kind of worked through it. Um, then the same person was nice enough to look at some stuff for me today, so that was great. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then, cool things happen. Like, I got my horror box in the mail today, so I will show you what came in. May's Horror Box. Horror Box is a monthly subscription. I'm trying to open the box, sorry. That you get and you pay, uh, for example, I think I pay $29 with shipping. And you get all kinds of goodies and it's all horror related. It could be like cheesy horror movies or it could be like really creepy horror movies. So I will show you the first thing that came and I'm going to have to stand up for this. Um, I'm pretty sure that the skull is from a certain movie. I just can't guess what movie it is. If you happen to know, please leave a comment in, down below, or if you're on my Facebook, leave a comment on my Facebook. Please let me know what horror movie this particular skull is from, because neither myself nor my partner could guess what it was. So, got a, this is a, um... Size small. This will fit me just fine. It's stretchy. It's a men's small. It says exactly what I need. So we got that. That's a good ten dollar shirt, I think. Anyway, um, the second thing that they gave us in the box this month was a pair of really groovy killer shot glasses. Obviously, they're not white on the inside. They're clear. 
but they're just trying to show you what's in there. There's two. Um, so that's good seven bucks, I think, if I had to guess. Um, the second thing, third thing they gave us was a Bates Motel, no vacancy mug. Sorry, it's a little shiny. Um, and it says bloody disgusting. If I could do it in an English accent, I would, but I can't. And if I did, you'd laugh at me, but I'll do it anyway. It's bloody disgusting. Yeah, that was horrible, right? Okay. So, got that. My phone's going off. Um, and if you've ever seen uh, The Shining, the name of the hotel is the Overlook Hotel. So they gave you a set of coasters. This was the carpet pattern in the hotel. There is a set of one, two, three, four. Four pack of coasters. That's two bucks right there. Um, then they gave you, I don't want to take it out, it's a figure. Have you ever seen Ghostbusters when you were a kid? Remember the Ghostbuster mobile? It's a Ghostbuster mobile figure. I wish, I should just take it out. I don't know how to take it out. It's sealed, so I probably shouldn't. Anyways, this is like a $10 collectible. So, anyways, if you add it all up, um, as well as they gave you a subscription every month, and this is $10, this magazine itself is $10, for Room Morgue, which is a horror magazine. Okay, so let's do the math here, right? Get $10 on that. Um, get ten dollars from that. That's twenty. Um, twenty-seven, forty-one. Oh, sorry, that's thirty-one. I can't do the math here. Twenty-seven, forty-one, thirty-one. Um, probably about six, six to ten bucks. So we'll just say six. So that's thirty-seven plus the shirt, which is another ten. So that's forty-seven. So you're definitely getting what you paid for. I had the Loot Crate box for a while. I didn't really feel like I got anything worth of value out of the Loot Crate box. They were really, really cheap. Um, in our house, we're horror movie fans. My um, husband is a really crazy, like, chop you up and kill you kind of horror movie fan. I'm more of <laughs> a campy, cheesy, zombie, like, musical, just the most bizarre and stupid horror movie that you can watch like that's what I want to watch in our house like Ghostbusters didn't creep me out when I was a kid um, Bates Motel didn't creep me out because it's not that much gore but he's more about the gore so anyway so got that in the mail really excited it's one of the things I look forward to like every month of getting so we, we got through that um, plan of the day is at some point I'm going to finish um clean up a little bit and probably cooking dinner and then um, talk to some more modeling people and um, watch some movies later because I updated my Netflix and I have like 80 things on my list of things to watch so apparently I'm not going through my Netflix the way I should be. Um, anyways, it was a pretty good day. Um, I've got through the emotional hurdle. And I'm feeling pretty good. So we're just going to try to focus on the positive and move forward. And then we're just going to go after tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be great. And I hope you guys had a fantastic day so far. And I will talk to you soon.